Hello, I'm Phil and welcome back to Book of Beasties World of Wellness. In this video, we will be looking at the importance of a balanced diet. Whoa. And jumping into the kitchen to make the most wonderful soup ever made of all of our favourite ingredients. Let's just hope that they go well together. We will also be looking into self-care how we can practice better self-care to care for ourselves because there are lots of ways that we can and many changes we can make to our routines that could make a difference. Did you know, and this is quite an important did you know, that self-care, being the caring for oneself, can be, and listen carefully to this, Self-care, which is key to our well-being, can be, are you listening, anything that you want it to be if it means that you're caring for yourself. But isn't it selfish to just care for yourself? Selfish? Of course not. Self-care is all about you becoming the best version of you. And that can be just as good for others as it is for yourself. Oh! So not selfish at all. Looking after ourselves can help with our self-esteem. Remember when we spoke about self-esteem, when we met Aki and practiced having good posture, that could be considered self-care. So can going for a walk, having a good dance to some of your favorite music, dressing in your favorite clothes, Switching off all electronics, even for an hour. And even cooking ourselves a nice, healthy, wholesome meal that can make us feel fuzzy, warm, and full. Which brings us on to today's activity. For today's session, you will need pens, paper, and a chef's hat. Oh. Let me introduce you to the brilliant Fever Folk. The Fever Folk mostly feel very loved and they worry that this brings everyone around down to Maybe a nice warm blanket and some healthy food could help. But maybe it's not just healthy food that we do the Allowing yourselves a treat or some comfort food every now and then can also be a good thing. They need a balanced diet. But what is a balanced diet? Just like the fever folk, we can all sometimes feel a bit under the weather. That's not to say we are unwell or sick. Sometimes we simply feel well. You know, just like with self-care, there are lots of ways to help ourselves when we feel like this. But having a balanced diet can be a great way to help in the long run ensuring our bodies get the right nutrients, vitamins, minerals, proteins, fiber, and good fats. With each doing your body good in many different ways, such as having healthy skin and bones, good digestion, strong immune system, and big old muscles. And if all those things feel good, then so will your super mega minds. That's not to say you can't treat yourself with your favorite things as well. What are your favourite treats? So how can we help the fever folk? Well, feeling unwell not only takes its toll on our physical health, but our mental health as well. Maybe if the fever folk wrap themselves in a nice big warm blanket and have some lovely comfort food, they could feel a bit better. Today, we are going to be coming up with a recipe for what could be it could be the greatest soup concoction in history. But with my cooking skills, maybe not. We'll be looking at all the different food groups, what we could choose from each one, as well as all our favorite things that we may want to put into a soup. And keep in mind that you can use whatever you like, but the ingredients must form a balanced diet. 
You can write a list or draw each ingredient and if you like, share them with us so we can try your soups here at Beastly's HQ. Whilst I collect all of my ingredients and prep the kitchen, take some time to think about your ingredients, what self-care means to you, and work through these talking tidbits. Don't forget you can pause the video to spend more time to talk. Right, here we go. So I'm, hold on, I think something's missing. Ah, uh, yes, much better. So I'm going to choose a different ingredient from each of the four food groups to include in my soup. But what are the food groups? Grains, like pasta, rice, or bread. Vegemins and tubules, such as potatoes, Carrots, broccoli, or peas. Well, I don't like peas. Fruits, such as apples, and pears, or bananas. Meat, like a big, juicy steak. And dairy, you know, like stuff from a moo cow. So for my soup, I'm gonna choose an ingredient from each group. For grains, I'm gonna use my super favorite, spaghetti. For veggies, I think I'm gonna have two items. I'm greedy. Carrots and broccoli. Nom, 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 nom. And now fruit, fruit, it makes you toot. Like pears. And now for the meat, which could be fish, chicken, or red meat, or even a plant-based alternative. But I think I am gonna go with the tail of a pink fluffy goat fish. Classic. Oh, that's my favourite. Only joke. I'm gonna have chicken. Oh. Don't throw the chicken. All right, all right. And don't forget to treat yourself as well because you deserve it. My favourite treat of all time is a big old chocolate bar. Ready to get cooking? Please do not use any kitchen equipment without an adult present. Maybe you stick to just writing the recipe for now. Keep your soup recipes handy for when you are feeling like the fever folk and treat yourself to a wonderfully big and toasty bowl. I hope it's a bit nicer than mine though. If you would like to explore more of our beasties, you can get your teachers or parents to download our remote wellness kit from the Book of Beasties website, www.bookofbeasties.com. See you in the next Book of Beasties World of Wellness video where we will be meeting Gagatek, who gets really down in the dumps and needs his favourite thing to help him feel better. We'll be looking at what makes us feel low and what are our own comforts that we can use to brighten our spirits. Thank you guys, see you next time.